dead to me. Mama said it's gonna be whatever you let it be. It's some homies I grew up with that's dead to me. It's some that I just made a debt to me. What's in common is they both pay respect to me. I get in my way from Friday to Friday. My girl is a mix of Ali and Shade. I came a long way from that Marvin. I pull out the driveway like I'm in a car chase. Speed it. And if my she she know I'm leaving. No text, no call, but that air, airplane mode call, no key. Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Anticipation is mounting for today's game, and we've got two quarterbacks looking to make an impact. It's the Browns going up against the Colts. And we welcome you to Lucas Oil Stadium, which opened back in 2008 here in the Circle City of Indianapolis, Indiana. Just a short time ago, smoke from the pyrotechnics filled the dome as the Colts made their way out of the locker room. We're set for football as the Colts get set to match up with the Cleveland Browns. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Here's the first carry now for Frank Gore. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Now it's locked. Over the middle here, it's Hilton. T.Y. Hilton, nobody to beat. 20, 10, touchdown Indianapolis. T.Y. Hilton, an 80-yard touchdown. And the Colts are going to take a first quarter lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it, get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible? Or was it just a play call that they had in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. the 27-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. And he'll give it here to his running back. <laughs> a big hit. Knocked down sideways. That'll go as a loss of five. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. Hey, 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 here we 
And no press coverage here. They are backing off in the secondary. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Going to give this time to the tailback. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. Finding room inside the 40. And he's brought down. That'll move the sticks for the Browns. A gain of 12. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. And he is knocked down from the side. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in the game. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. On the ground, this is Johnson. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That right there, a good sign for a team that's had trouble converting third down so far this year. They're in the bottom five in the NFL, but they come through there. Yeah, and I bet if we put our guy Marvin on the case and say, Marvin, tell us where they rank on third and what, right? I bet they're in the top five in the league on third and five, third and six, third and seven or more because that's how you end up not converting. Just too much yardage to pick up on third down. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. They'll try to run it in. Johnson, no gain on the play that time. So a big stop, and it's going to leave them with a fourth and goal. There are certain drives in the game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. And Gonzalez puts this one through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they get three. They were hoping for six. An unlucky number 13 play drive. Well, you go to the sideline after putting three points on the board. Happy, but you wanted to be ecstatic. You wanted to have six on the board. On the opposite sideline, though, the defense, I think they're high-fiving each other, only giving up three after letting them run that much offense. 
A reminder coming up in the Sunday night game, matchup you don't see very often, a rematch of Super Bowl 18. The Raiders traveling to Washington. And then tomorrow on Monday night, we'll see the Cowboys heading to the desert to take on the Cardinals. Former NFC East rivals. They'll start on the ground with Gore. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you talk about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. <laughs> oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. We always look for breakout seasons, and Jack Doyle had one in 2016. 59 catches. What? He didn't even have that in the previous three seasons. No, previous three, 35 combined. But he was stuck behind Kobe Fleener for a while. He went to New Orleans, really opened things up, didn't it? Yeah, Dwayne Allen's been shipped off to New England. So Jack Doyle, truly tight end one. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. He got 29 yards that time. As far as I'm concerned, Andrew Luck can do it all. I mean, he's an underrated runner, toughness in the pocket, strong and stout. But let's face it, the money, that comes from his arm. And smart, valedictorian of his high school class in Houston. Then he goes to Stanford. He's got it all. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Play fake, and it's locked. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Doyle. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Luck finding his emerging tight end, Doyle, for a Colt first. On first down, Locke. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Emmanuel Ogba coming hard that time. He's able to run him down for a loss of 12. Here's Luck now on second down. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Play fake to Gore. It's locked. The swing pass caught. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Victor Cruz, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. And oh my goodness, this is nowhere close. Well to the right and no good. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. That'll be taken in the end zone. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall at the 19. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped in the contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> and he'll get this one across the 20, but only up to about the 21. 
Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now a second down throw for Kaiser. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. Let's go! Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. down Kaiser and he slings one that's incomplete and some changes here as the D line separates some now a handoff here to his running back Space to maneuver at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That'll move the sticks for the Browns, a gain of 12. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. From the gun, Kaiser. The rookie first rounder, David Njoku, with it. And they'll get him to the ground, but he got all the way down to the 30-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Kaiser on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he carries this one all the way down to the nine. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. David Njoku with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Browns have cut it back within a score. Sometimes those tight ends are a mismatch. They found the mismatch there. And that's exactly why you want to draw up those types of plays because coverage is just going to go to the natural guys, the guys that make the big plays on the outside. But if you work your tight end into it, that's a tough one for a defense to handle. Tough. They couldn't handle it. It worked out for six. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Luck able to find Hilton there for a cold first down. Led the NFL with 1,448 yards in 2016. The first Colt to do so 
since Reggie Wayne in 2007. How about this guy? He's been something. Yeah, four straight years now, over 1,000, and three straight Pro Bowls for T.Y. Hilton. Yeah, what I love about him, inside, outside, he can work it all. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. An update from Buffalo. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. Here's Luck. He's going to air one out. Going for Hilton, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 33. He won't go down. <laughs> Breaks the tackle. Now an alley. It's almost like you can see the look of frustration on his face. Four interceptions last week. We talked about it all week. What did he do wrong? And another one here in the first half. And you can understand the frustration. You actually feel his pain a little bit. But the worst Eric thing he can do is what you're seeing right now. Showing the other team that he's frustrated. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield stripe. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Let's go. Hey. Kaiser now on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off here the 32. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Well, this is one of the downsides of being a rookie quarterback. You know you're going to get called out about everything you do that goes wrong. Here, maybe he's a little uncertain about where to go with the football. And at this level, uncertainty equals turnovers. And this one winds up being intercepted. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. So we hit halftime here in Indianapolis with the Colts on top as we send you down to our EA Sports Studios in Orlando where we find our man Larry Ridley with our halftime report. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he's going to be out of bounds here right at the 20-yard line. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And the play clock's running down. They go play action here on first down. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it a second down. Completed pass play. Now let's see if they go back to the air or to the ground. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll take this forward for two, maybe three. But we do have a flag down, and they're already marching backward. It's already second and 12. The defense hoping to push him back more. The defensive line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense, and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now the offense lining up first and 10. Let's go. 
Now a play fake here on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. So he can't hang on. And as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard. Maybe from you. I don't know. But you're going to get hit anyways. Might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Tough day. Tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Screenplay, Johnson. And he's got run. The 20. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. The best passing attacks in the NFL often incorporate the guys out of the backfield catching the football. And that's what we just got on that play. As a primary receiver, not always just a check down, not always a safety valve. Sometimes they just get it to them right away because they have the matchup advantage. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. So second and goal here from the nine. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. They get three yards closer, but still work to do. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This offense so far on third down, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. This is third and goal. Let's go! Johnson and the hole closes quickly here he can fight only to about the four only a yard on the pickup there and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal this offense bent the defense in their long drive downfield but once they got within sight of the goal line the defense went to don't break mode and is stiffened and that field goal caps an 11 play drive that's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Now a first down throw, Lock under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Second down, here's Locke. Looking for Cruz, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamar Taylor. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirt. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. That's on the guard, Kevin Zeitler. First round pick back in 2012. Push his way forward here for a good little gain. Give him five yards there, and it'll bring up second down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a bat. Here we go. 
Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Now I can't imagine any celebrations being any bigger than your first NFL touchdown. And this rookie running back is still seeking his. He's not going to get it on that play. The Browns on third down. They've been very good. Five for seven thus far. This is third and 14. They'll throw here. Kaiser. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. Back now here on EA Sports. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And the kick by Gonzalez is good. Elsewhere, second half is underway up in Orchard Park. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. That throw good for four. It's second down. To throw on second down is Luck. And Luck will be intercepted for a third time. Picked off at the 39. And the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. That is now seven. Seven interceptions between last week and this week. Three in this game, four a week ago. And I saw the head coach write on his play sheet, make a little note. I hope he's writing self-scout. Bring in the guys that scout games for you with a different eye and watch him and see what's going on and maybe they can pick up what the flaws are and hopefully they can correct them. There's definitely contact there, but it's the fourth quarter of a kind of tight game and sometimes the officials just say, let them play. Kind of like your mom used to, you and your brothers, just take the broom to you and send you out to the backyard and tell you to settle it yourselves. <laughs> I like that, yeah. There was contact. I don't know, like you said, enough to warrant the flag. It was close, though. That one, 28 yards on the ground. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in it. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the forced turnover on defense leads to six points. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, good move. And now running right through it. And he probably should have stayed in the end zone as he'll muster a return up to only the 14-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go. Red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Jamar Taylor. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. So they'll get another shot on offense.
offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And they gave up the pick six. And now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go-around? You should be, just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Love shrugs him off to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll fake it. Now Love. He's going deep for Brown. And got his man complete. And give him a gain of 37. That has to be frustrating for defenders. Third down, they take a shot way downfield. There is good coverage, yet they still come down with the football and pick up a big game. On first and 10, Locke. Throw left side complete. That's Doyle. And he takes this down deep into Cleveland territory. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. And now here's another interception. Picked off inside the 10. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. That second down run, a big help. The seven yards leaves them with just a third and three now. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Third and short yardage, Kaiser. He finds Coleman. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They'll get six on the play, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. time for a break we'll come back and see this one out after this and to give this time to the tailback and he's brought down that'll move the sticks for the browns a gain of 12 i've got an idea let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game let's go to the post-game press conference i have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team He's going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. And he'll take it down to the 30-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to, says body language is important and now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips they're bent over hands on their knees and the offensive guys they're just saying let's just keep running it out and we've got them now 
And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility. No one thinks we can do this. Only people who believe are right here in this room. And then you go on the road, band together, and get it done. So for Cleveland, they're into the win column now as they move to one and two on the young season. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0 and 3. And they'll be on the road next week as they get a date with the Seahawks in Seattle. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everybody.